today. Bernie's gonna come here, the grower. We're going to do a drone flight for late season health on soybeans. He's really interested to see um, the data that we get back from these drones. The drone technology has just been fun to watch. It's amazing what you can see with it. So with a drone, we're able to fly, you know, an 80 acre field in 20 minutes, get all the acres covered and really get a picture of what's going on in that field at that exact moment. So that's given us our flight path, you know, within the field boundary, what we're gonna fly. We'll do that. We're gonna be flying at 400 feet at 20 miles an hour. We should be good to go. So with me going out, looking at fields, you know, being there, we can get ahead of a lot of the, the problems we might have in a year. We can really save the yield that's out there with me doing the checkups and just having those conversations with the grower throughout the growing season. Yeah, we got some red area down yeah, there. Yeah. And it's all compared, like these are all comparative to, you know, the rest of the field. So like I said, the rest of the field's in really good shape and that one's just a little bit behind. More than just showing up to take an order, he gets out in the field and scouts them. Gives me a little peace of mind that I don't have to be scouting fields every week. That's good, you know, especially for this time of year. I try to visit all my growers multiple times throughout the growing season, be in their fields once or twice, at least a month, you know, I kind of give them a progress report of what's going on. Well, what is over here? Is that Atlanta, huh? the trees? I wonder if it's some insect pressure, oh. you know? With farmers, they rely a lot on, you know, trust, honestly, they want somebody out there that, like I said, they can count on going out there, getting to know them, um, trying to be the expert on their acre. You know, that means a lot to them. They know that they can call me, you know, really any time of the day, at night. Once it's done flying, how long will it take to get the data? So we know it takes 16 minutes to fly this, you know, 70 acres, probably half an hour to 45 minutes. The red spot got smaller and the green, you know, there was more green. So, I mean, it did have some effect on it, you know, using that, that fungicide. He's impacted me, the performance of my farm, just because he's keeping an eye on things all through the year. Bernie's probably one of my number one customers that I have currently. Kind of been, been through a lot, you know, good, good times, bad times and everything. It's been a great relationship so far. He's able to be out there even when I'm not able to be. And if there's a problem, he's there to identify it and come up with a solution. I probably rely on him more than, than myself. It's a partnership. I'm a partner with that farmer. Like I might not be the one farming the acres, but I feel like it, it is part of my operation. I try to make all my growers feel like that I'm a, I'm a partner and I really do care about what their outcome at the end of the year is all about. <music>